strike the last word. Gentleman is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I urge my colleagues on both sides to join me in strongly supporting the Nadler Amendment. The FACT Act makes ridiculous demands veiled as protective measures for asbestos victims, though not a single victims group supports this bill. This is all done in the name of transparency to address a supposedly systemic problem with the asbestos trust that even the GAO found does not exist. The Nadler Amendment would simply require the proponents of this bill to provide the same transparency that they are demanding. It is absolutely outrageous that Congress has failed to require asbestos companies to make information publicly available when it comes to public health and safety. In 1988, President Reagan actually signed into law the Asbestos Information Act, which required manufacturers and processors of asbestos containing material to report information about their products to the Environmental Protection Agency, which was then directed to publish the information in the Federal Register. However, the Asbestos Information Act was a one time reporting requirement and it predated the use of the Internet. That is why I recently introduced the Reducing Exposure to Asbestos Database Act, which amends the Asbestos Information Act to require those who manufacture, import, or otherwise handle asbestos-containing products to annually report to the EPA about the products and any publicly accessible location in which the products have been known to be present in the past year. This information would be made publicly available in an online database, helping Americans avoid potential exposure to asbestos and hopefully incentivizing the continued reduction of asbestos in our nation until it is finally eliminated once and for all. So long, so long as asbestos remains in the United States, it is a threat to the public health and more transparency about this product that kills up to 15,000 Americans a year, not less, should be the rule of the road. Again, I urge my colleagues to support the Nadler Amendment so that we can start addressing the long history of the asbestos industry concealing information that ought to be openly available to protect American workers, children, and families. And I yield back. The question occurs on the amendment offered by